Funding for Greater Chattanooga is provided by EPB Fiber Optics and Simpa Community Care. It's the biggest rush ever. Your body does things that you don't even expect it to do. It's crazy, it'll come out of nowhere. It is the most physically and mentally challenging thing I've ever done. And in the same breath, it's the most rewarding. To come out on the other end, you're like, yeah, I did that. Roller derby is a uh, contact sport on skates um, where you play offense and defense at the same time uh, with a jammer that scores points by passing the opposing player's hips. Roller derby in itself is just a sport for women to come together of all different walks of life, of all different backgrounds. Um, we draw strength in that diversity to kind of empower each other and to uh, give strength to one another. I guess that's what it is in its essence. There's not a lot of female sports that are our full contact sports, so it is a place where you're putting so much, <laughs> there's a lot of vulnerability there because you are mentally going out there knowing that there's nine other people on that track that are ready to physically dominate you. <laughs> All these other cities were starting up roller derby leagues and um, felt like Chattanooga should be a part of that and have something. Our first full season was 2009. So we started in 2008. We didn't really know what we were doing. We were just skating and kind of getting it organized at that point. And then 2009 was the first full season. We had our first home bout. It's taken a long time to get where it is today. <laughs> in the 80s, Roller Derby got really popular and it kind of became like a wrestling. They wore, you know, costumes, outfits to go along with the theme of their team and all that. That's why the names are still there. Ryan gets out first this time. Um, I like the names just because uh, most people do feel like a transition when they have played Derby after a while and so you kind of feel like a almost a different person when you're playing. It takes on sort of that superhero alter ego, Diana Prince and Wonder Woman, all that stuff. I definitely think Chaos has her own identity. She is her own person. <laughs> but now it's just gone in a totally different direction. So a lot of the higher up teams, they use their real names. And most people now will wear, you know, athletic leggings, their jerseys matching helmets. And I think, you know, you still see the occasional fishnet, the occasional crazy makeup. That's kind of homage to that um, early resurgence. But as far as the sport in itself goes, I do see it as a completely legitimized sport. And there's, you know, gameplay, strategy, all that good stuff. So it's a very competitive sport and very physical sport. I can't hear you! We do our, with, as a team, we do endurance practices with our skates on. So we'll be doing burpees wearing full gear. My boyfriend uh, was telling me I needed to make some new girlfriends because I didn't have a lot of friends in town and this would be a good way to do it quickly found out that it was something kind of different. Uh, so many different women that are all, most A personalities, everybody has their own talents and skills and it all kind of intertwines and you have to learn how to get along with 20 something women. On our team, we have um, nurses, uh, we have one doctor. You know, school teacher and managers to stay at home moms. A couple of graphic designers couple of hairdressers. Quite a range of jobs, class, income. 
all kinds of different mixed sports background and then a lot of people who have no sports background. Roller derby is a little bit different in that way in that a lot of people do not have sports backgrounds. That is how it's grown is because, um, you know, it's not something like basketball or softball that is in school and they teach you how and you have these leaks growing up. Any shape and size can play roller derby. Like everybody has their different strengths and talents with it. People who play softball look very similar. People who play basketball look similar to each other. Um, but derby is a very wide spectrum of uh, personalities, body types. Body image alone, I mean, I think we've, uh, our culture's definitely become more aware of how there's a lot of media presence of how you should look and how what you should be doing. I grew up with issues with body image. It was one of those things that the past three years, you know, I've learned to love and appreciate my body and what it can do. You know, I can do things that other women can't. Common thread that we have is that something brought us there. Everybody has something that brought them there that they were looking for. I'm mom of two kids. Uh, they both started college, so I've done that for 19 years, and I'm a speech and language pathologist and a rehab director, so a lot of taking care of people. I saw that her, she kind of opened up a lot more because in, before roller derby, she was more focused on being the parent and making sure everyone's okay. But when she started roller derby, she kind of opened up how she felt a lot more and I remember her freaking out, I was like, oh my god, I have girlfriends. <laughs> We travel together, um, we work the home bouts, you know, all day together and then play. But, you know, we get outsiders, we get people who, you know, don't necessarily always have a crowd or have anyone to fit in with. They've supported me, I've went through, you know, we've all had life go on outside of Derby and they've been there to support every single aspect. We've had people um, in emergencies that anyone on the team will just put their life on hold and go and help them. When I got diagnosed with uh, cancer a few years ago, they went from being people that I showed up to practice with and skated with to people who are at every appointment I've ever had, um, anything my kids needed, bringing me things in the hospital. We thought it was a derby injury, so um, my shoulder was starting to hurt a little bit and I wasn't able to hit people as well. We uh, went and got it checked out and two days before Christmas found out I had uh, triple negative breast cancer. And by the end of that year of 2016, I had started uh, chemo treatment. I would skate every time I could. Um, there was points where, you know, I just physically couldn't skate or I had neuropathy in my feet. I do believe Derby gave me something that otherwise I would be at home in bed. And, you know, I would make myself go to practices and every game, I never missed one. Right now with what she's going through, it's definitely something for her to look forward to and just do to keep her mind off of the more unpleasant things in life. I have the biggest support system I've ever had in my entire life and at the, probably the most important time of my life. So we moved here with, didn't know anybody, nobody in Chattanooga and if I had stayed along that path and still would have gotten my cancer and everything, yeah, I. Don't, I can't even try to imagine it because it would just be horrible. And you can talk about things you're struggling with on the track and off the track and form a bond that you can trust people on your team because they're going to have your back. We empower each other, we give each other that space to speak up and to um, be more assertive, embrace their competitiveness and their aggressiveness, um, where you don't necessarily get that in the real world. This is a healthy competitive environment because you are hitting each other constantly, um, beating each other up on skates, and then right afterwards you're going to high five. 
It's allowed me to be more assertive, um, out, you know, off the track, um, to allow me to speak my mind, and not unapologetically in a sense, but, um, you know, if I have a point, I'm going to make it. And I think it gave me that boost and that confidence to be a strong female, to be a fierce female. The times that you want to just be, you know, I just want to give up right now, I just want to feel weak and just not do this, I don't, I don't want to be hit, I'm in a bad mood, I'm feeling whatever, roller derby kind of makes you push beyond. We've had a few of our adult skaters already say like, gosh, I wish I had found derby or if I had had derby when I was 10 or 12 or 13, like my life would have been on a completely different path than it was. Just to be able to have something that allows you to embrace who you are, how you are, and still find something to succeed with all of that. This is a community where you're pushing each other physically and mentally in areas that you've never really had to do before and you're showing so much vulnerability through it and it's so scary alone but then you look over and you're like wait they're doing it as well and they're there helping me and they're there when I fall down.